What's going on guys, Wise Gamer here. We are back with the final episode of Action Hank that I will upload for indie gameplay at least. I might do tutorials someday in the future, but we're back with Back to the City. We're going to do the final three levels and the 90 Hanks uh, Redemption. Um, I will say for 90s Hank Redemption, I don't actually beat it in the video. It was one of those levels where um, I finished it by like maybe 0 0.0001 second or something. Um, it was really ridiculous. So anyway, so this first one here, High Speed Hysteria. When I first did this map, I had no idea what to do. And um, I actually passed quite a bit of it without too much issue. So you can see I'm like 21 seconds ahead of the gold right now. Um, I messed up there on that little teardrop exit and I don't get enough speed to be able to get this end. But we'll show you um, how it works. I think I do restart at least once. So you gotta hit that teardrop the right way, you just gotta jump at the right moment. And for some reason I was failing that left and right where I never failed that before. In the beginning though there's a whole bunch of boosters, so you have to basically jump out, you'll hit a booster, hit a bumper that's gonna bounce you across the gap, land on a booster, jump, hit another bumper. Um, well, you'll see that here, so bumper, booster, jump, bumper, booster, jump. There's not really a way to mess that up that I've been able to do. I've kind of like purposely tried to and I've been able to. And then through this, you're just going to slide through the entire portion, jump at the end to make sure you hit the other booster, and you should get enough um, speed to be able to jump up there. While you're sliding down, you're going to jump to that little teardrop style um, ramp, and then you're going to want to make sure you jump again to get into that like I just did. You'll get enough speed to be able to jump across the boosters. When you slide into these loops, there is a little bit of a lip at the beginning of each loop, so you're going to have to jump into that. And then you climb up that wall, you jump down, you have to land in that hole, which I missed. And if you land in that hole, you'll get enough speed to be able to continue onto the map and, and go a little bit further there too. And if you heard kind of a strange noise just now, that was a dog sneezing, sorry about that. So you, go, you land in there with enough speed, you can get to the end of the map, get to the ramp. Not too difficult once you know what to do. Um, you can see I was ahead of gold by 42 seconds, I mean, literally like cut gold's time in half basically. Um, but it is something that's difficult, if you don't know what you're doing, it, it can take some time. And this one here, I completely failed in the beginning, but basically this is where things become a little bit more difficult even more so like if that was possible <laughs> so this is everything where it's one of those things where like if you hit a ramp just a little baby bit too late or a little baby bit too early you are not going to be able to win um so that first entry lamp ramp it's very important that you hit it properly to get enough speed um i never had much of an issue there you gotta hit that wall jump perfectly get up here jump at the right time to get enough speed here and you're gonna land on this one perfectly into the ramp if you don't hit it perfect you're not gonna finish the map and that's one that gives me a lot of trouble. So as you see, I hit it a little bit shallow there. Um, so it's all about exiting the ramp, leading into it um, at the right time and get enough speed here. So if you jump a little bit too early, you'll fall shallow because you get a little bit too height like that, or too much height like that. If you jump too late, then you're not gonna get enough height. Um, it's just very, very touchy. And this is where it goes to what I always talk about, pixel perfect gameplay and you know, on these insane levels, even more so to be able to finish the map, let alone metal, just to finish it, you're gonna have to be pixel perfect. Um, so you'll kind of get it down, and this is why I use the same character models, whether it's a uh, Action Hank, Regular Hank, or uh, Kentony. I, I use those models because they all have very similar animations, and I mean, when it comes to that, I just need to be able to have that same animation so I know where to jump properly. So I hit that ramp a little bit deep into it, but I was still able to get up to the next area. This area here, you're going to get a big old slide, you got to jump properly. Instead of jumping out of the ramp like you normally would, um, at the very bottom of it, you will mess up if you do that, so you got to wait jump on the flat area right before the uh, like step ups happen. And I actually reset to the beginning of the map by accident. I meant to reset just to that last checkpoint. So we get to do this whole part again. We're gonna jump through, we got plenty of speed here. It shouldn't be an issue. Hit that ramp perfectly, just like I was talking about. 13 seconds ahead, we're gonna hit here and the, resist the urge to jump early like I just did out of the ramp. If you do, you'll mess up. You gotta jump up those steps. So I reset at the checkpoint, resisting the urge as much as I can. Jumping, jump, jump. And if you jump a little bit too early, a little bit too late, then you'll hit that next block there. So I tried to get a little bit more speed by jumping first to see if that was a good option. I think that is not the way to go um, unless you jump early enough out of the ramp. And it's all just perfect timing. I mean, it's that whole thing where if you're, you know, a half a second too early on a jump or a half a second too late, you're not going to get enough speed or you'll get too much speed. And, you know, finally cleared the map. I'm just a little bit behind gold right now, but I know I can finish um, a little bit ahead of him just because he usually messes up here. So these U jumps, my best best recommendation is just to do what I'm doing. You got to build a whole bunch of momentum. You can kind of swing from left to right like that and try to get up there. Um, what I notice is if you go up the left side like I'm doing here and then come back up the right side, that's usually the best way to get up there. I was a little bit short so I'm going to do it one more time. 
try to get as much speed as I can, and finally was able to get up to the top and be able to finish that. So I still finished 12 and a half seconds early, even with gold leading part of the way there. And um, you know, that's the best thing I can suggest as far as saying, you know, hey, make sure that you don't just reset at the beginning of the level. This level, Way of the Ninja, man, did I rage with this. This first ramp even, if you don't jump, you don't get enough momentum to get up to the top. Um, I wound up messing that up there, so you gotta jump perfectly, hit the ramp right, get enough speed. And you can see I'm just resetting so many times just on the first ramp, because I can't get it right. And it's all about getting the right um, landing on the uh, the down part of this ramp. So you gotta jump perfectly, land there, get enough speed, jump into it, get up to the top. And I'll take this here. These little jumps aren't too hard, but you do have to jump pretty much immediately. These ramps, if you don't hit the ramp perfectly, and you'll see what I mean, I hit a little too shallow, I hit too deep into it the first time, hit too shallow again. There we go, perfect jump, perfect exit, jump off the wall, you have to land perfectly again, which I was a little bit short. So, okay, I still made it up there. If you land just a little bit too short into that ramp, you aren't going to make it. This one, you got to land way at the top, jump, land perfectly on there, I hit an obstacle. So, land way at the top, jump. Land, not hitting the obstacle, hit that ramp, jump up. You have to hit that boot, that bumper, otherwise you will not make it. And then you get up to the next ramp area, you get enough speed. You gotta clear that little hook, and which is a pain also. Jump up here. That one, I made it look easy, but it's basically a matter of just falling without hitting any of those obstacles, which can be a lot more difficult than you thought. And this last part here, you're gonna slide from left to right. And this is gonna be finishing up the last level here. So you just have to slide just a little bit, jump and hit the ramp the right way. and. Uh, it can take some practice for sure. You can see my trial and error. I'm like, man, how did I even do this before? This is one of those levels that I never did a second time. Um, so I jumped to get enough momentum, was finally able to get up. Then you got to make your way up here. So what I do is I bounce off the wall to get enough speed. And I still messed up. So if I jump off the wall, get enough speed, get up the next area. Jump off the wall, get enough speed. Then I can finally finish it there too. So personal best, 22 seconds ahead of gold. Um, this very last level, let's see how many people finished it. Oh, I didn't show it in there. I wish I did. There's not very many people that finish Way of the Ninja, I don't think. It's just a very difficult level for sure. And then finally, we're going to move on to 90s uh, Hank Redemption. And that's going to be the last one for my videos here. Action Hank's bonus, I haven't finished. I haven't been able to. I've been playing this game a lot, guys. I've probably got like 40 hours into it. I still can't get Action Hank, uh, Retro 90 Hank here, whatever. I can't get him down. And I can't get the coin challenge down. So you can see I'm actually leading Action Hank here. Um, but this is a level where it's like everything is absolutely perfect. If you mess up anywhere, you are not going to finish. And I give a pretty good run. Um, I mean, I am beating him through most of the map. But there is a section coming up that he just kicks my butt in every time. I mean, you can see I, I messed up there, which sucks. And I wasn't going to restart because I was in front of him. But I'll show you the sections that comes up later where he just beats me all the time. For some reason, I keep messing up the same way here. But this is a challenge that is, um, you know, definitely an insane challenge. Like, it's very, very difficult. And I never had problems with this part before. I don't know why I'm having trouble now. But basically, you know, I just wanted to show the rest of the map off. Like I said, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to finish this one on camera. Um, it, it took me forever to get it done. I finally finished it. So here, you know, the wall jump, I would have been leading him still through all of that. And then coming into this next part here is where he starts to kick my butt. So I don't know what he does, but he jumps through this ramp area and he gets ahead of me starting right here. Uh, I'm not sure how exactly, but he does. And then this portion here leading out of that exit ramp, um, he's definitely ahead of me now by probably like a good quarter of a second usually. And then even up to this part, there's times that I'm able to tie or lead with him, but he'll just hit that bumper somehow perfectly. And then just from this part on uh, in this little section here, he just perfectly does all of that and flies past me. He'll get like a full second or two seconds ahead of me. So you finally get out of that whole ramp area, get to the end, slide on down, make a few more jumps. Um, overall, it's not a super difficult map. It's just that Hank is just perfect. Action Hank is perfect and there's nothing you can do to, to finish there. And then you, you finish the map by falling off the end, which I thought was kind of cool. So 152 people have finished it. That's it. 152. Like, that's just crazy to me, so... Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed, though. Action Hank's a really cool character. I love playing as a retro one, as you guys have seen. Action Hank, um, with an A instead, the African-American Hank. He's really cool, I just I don't think I can get him, guys. But series is done. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Please let me know what your favorite parts were down in the comments below. Tell your friends about it. And hopefully you guys can check out some Action Hank, too. I'll see you on the leaderboard. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.